like this. Hey guys, gals, and everything in between, what's going on? So I got this, uh, this game, I've had it for a while, and so we're gonna give it a shot. Dear Carl Stein, We are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Kruschwitz 6.
You must arrive there immediately and start working. You and your family are given an apartment on the first floor. The experimental medicine you've been injected with during the medical checkout suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. Welcome to the elite official rank, Ministry of Allocation. Let me adjust my webcam here. There we go. That's better. That's much better. All right, let's tap back into the game. This is your boss. Click on him to begin talking. When there is a exclamation mark by an NPC, he or she has a quest for you. Oh, yes, it you must be Carl. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Ministry of Order, I welcome you to your new position. What's going on? We're merely driving out pests in the house. It's no concern to you. As you wish. Your predecessor was unable to cope with the easiest of tasks. If a person is occupying an important position and can't cope with a simple task, they, there is only one outcome. He did that intentionally, i.e. he became an outlaw. As of now, everything your tenants do is your business. And the word everything means? The word everything means absolutely everything. You will follow their every step and document any suspicious activity. That is, if you want to earn a reputation for being a good public servant. If you're going to be a perfect beholder, document hobbies, interests, and even conversations. How can I do that? Observe and record. Surveillance cameras will help. There, let's start at the beginning. Have you ever managed an apartment building before, Carl? Do you need any help? I need your help. I'll help you, but keep your eyes peeled and don't miss a thing. Here's your journal. It's located on the right-hand side of the screen. Scroll through the tabs and look at it. Then we'll continue our talk. Let's come back to surveillance. Set up surveillance cameras in your house to simplify your work. According to our documentation, your predecessor received two of them. Find them in your office, which is to the right of this room. Great, you found the cameras. Install them in the dining hall. Follow me. Oh. 
You're doing fine. Here's your first reward. Spend your money on the things you need. You'll find them at the shop. You receive surveillance cameras as you earn reputation points. Reputation points show you're standing with the public. You receive them for completing tasks. You can also use them for personal gain in order to persuade the people around you to do what you want them to do. Unfortunately, I have some issues to deal with at the ministry. However, you can call me anytime from your office using your private line and ask me anything. By the way, Carl, I strongly encourage you to answer the phone. Remember, you and I serve our great people, and completing the orders of the ministry is our bread and butter. It's also our water and air. Here's the main thing. Several tenants are at risk. Your predecessor couldn't handle things. We're hoping you'll do better. Just tell me how. First of all, watch the tenants closely. Follow the report as soon as you gather evidence. The police will take care of the rest. Between ourselves, our great state can be very grateful to those who do their work well. The ministry can turn a blind eye to forgery and blackmail if they help you achieve your goal. I'll do my best. I like your enthusiasm, but be slow to call our de department. You can always ask your wise tutor for advice. One last instruction. The key I gave you opens every door in the building. Be sure your tenants leave their apartment before you enter it. Many citizens still think their private life is their own business. Let it be so. Now get to work. All the ministry. It's kind of like this war of mine. Hold on one second, I got a phone call. my mom I gotta help her do an ice bath really quick so I'll be right back
<sighs> All right, I'm back. Had to help my mom. Had to draw her an ice bath for her feet. She needs surgery, but I can't afford it. <sighs> okay, let's see here. Hello, Carl. You've learned your main duties. Are you ready to receive a task? Establish surveillance in our apartment too. Jacob Manischek lives there. You can always buy the cameras you need at the state shop. Only enter tenants apartments when they're not home and be careful. Congratulations, your first task was a success. You were rewarded $500 and 50 reputation points. According to our sources, Jacob Manischek is violating our directives. Let's find him using surveillance cameras. When a camera detects a tenant doing something illegal, the action icon changes color. Click on the icon to add the evidence to the dossier. Attach the evidence you gather to your report. Why are you running wandering around the house, Patrick? It's okay. Tell me what happened. That filthy Manischek swore at me. He decided I was standing near his door. I was trying my tying my shoes near the flower. He said he'd blow my head off if he ever saw me near his door again. Don't worry, I'll bring him justice. He won't touch you.
right, there we go. Is that better? Repair the apartment following Manishik's arrest and find a new tenant. Congratulations, your task was a success. As a reward, we are transferring the following sum to your account. $1,000 and 250 reputation. Remember, if you miss a call from the Ministry of Order, you'll be fined. You must be in your apartment at all times and answer the phone when it rings. Even if you're dying. Do you understand? Yes. You got rid of the violator. Now survey your tenant's opinion on Shimmer. Find out what other people think about him. Document his characteristics after you're done with the survey. Get to work. Yes, Father. Do you need anything? I have an issue, Father. What do you want? Economics classes have started and we're given a list of books to read. The books I read for s I need for school. I stop by the bookstore and they don't have the books. I heard I could get used ones at the market, but they cost a fortune. Can you ask your friends, perhaps someone you know has these books? You talk to wise people. I'm thinking about what I can do for you. Will you play with me, Father? Not now, Martha. What happened, sweetheart? Something bad happened, Dad. I lost M Naria. It's nowhere to be found. Who's Naria? It's my doll. It's my favorite doll, Dad. Will you help me find it? You scared me, Martha. Where did you last play with it? At home. Naria is too small to walk outside. Find her, please. why it would be in the TV, but... Okay, why is there a toothbrush in the TV? Here it is. Do you play with me? Not now, Martha. What's your doll's name? I miss Naria so much. Will you find her? I already found her. Here she is. Thanks, Dad. I thought of a great game. Want me to tell you about it? Naria will be the miner buried under rubble and I'll be the rescuer. What a game. Maybe you better play with your letter blocks. I'll build a coal mine out of the letter blocks. New mail. Talk with wife. What, Carl? I need your help, honey. I can't find a big enough saucepan. I searched every nook and cranny and I have no idea where it is. Maybe someone stole it. Should we call the police? Call the police because of an old saucepan? Don't even think of this. You must have left it in our old house. If you say so, can you ask the tenants about the saucepans? I hope they won't reject the new manager. I'll make a, a compote for Malta and bring it back. Okay, I'll ask the neighbors about a saucepan. The Ministry of Truth has noticed a rising interest in philosophy books, including the works of Paul Williams, who died a century ago. His writings describe absolute ideas that have been proven to be unrealistic, however, they still capture people's minds. 
The ministry believes the notion of a society without government in which the freedom of personal choice exists is dangerous and should be destroyed in all its forms. So now philosophy books are banned. Let's see if there's anyone in here. Saw some cameras. It's empty. A lot of smoke detectors. No one finds that suspicious. that belongs to apartment 2. See here, folks. Mark Rayna. What do you want from the archivist? Acquainted. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new manager of the building. I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you'll put everything here in order. I'll do my best. Try harder. You need this more than me. You happen to have a big saucepan my wife wants to make a compote. My wife usually cooks soup, but to be honest, her saucepan is rather small. If you're an educated person, where can I find textbooks on economics? The university gave my son a list of books to study, but none for the stores that carry them. The library is an option, but there's always a line. What's wrong with the library? It's quiet in there. It's a nice place for a young man to spend time. Can't you spend your money on something more useful than books? Thanks, but I doubt my son appreciates your advice. I want to ask you about Klaus Schimmer. What do you want to know? Give a vague reply. I don't know anything you don't know. Moreover, curiosity is a terrible sin. I had a co-worker who was always poking his nose into other people's business and documents. He was sent to jail. You've learned more than you have to. Goodbye, young man. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm new to th I'm the new building manager. My name is Klaus Schimmer. You'll manage the building that used to belong to my family. The previous manager had already turned it into junk. I hope you can fix this. I'll do my best. You have a saucepan suitable for making a compote. You better talk to my wife, Maria. I don't know anything about household issues or dishware. You're an educated person, Klaus. Where can I find textbooks on economics? Nice, got it. 
Say that it sounds German, not Russian. It's nice to meet you. I'm Maria Schimmer. Did you bring your family here? We just moved in. It'd be nice to meet you. Can I borrow your saucepan? My wife wants to make a compote, but we lost our saucepan while moving in. I have a suitable saucepan. Here it is. There's no need for this. My husband and I already live alone and we don't touch this. Please accept this as a housewarming gift. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the new building manager. Preparing for a long trip, we're sailing abroad. While I work as a trainee for the out outside affairs committee, I'll live in your cell. What kind of training? This training is obligatory. Ab Obligatory for anyone who travels abroad on business. We're talking and we're talking. We're taking anti-propaganda training. Are you alone? Yes, I live alone. I have a deal. Times are hard. Everyone is doing their best. I have canned fish. You know, everyone around here. Find me a buyer and I'll pay you generously. Deal. I'll try to sell your canned food. Wonderful. Here's a crate with 50 cans. The wholesale price is 50 per can. You can sell them for $100 a piece at the market, so the crate costs $3,000. You give me $3,000 and I sell it all. Whatever you make above three grand is yours to keep. Did you note my generosity? Let's see if she'll buy some. Oh, it won't let me. Get that done. Find books for, on economics for Patrick. That which is hidden will be revealed in 32 hours. Directive received. Uh, music is now prohibited. Singing in front of the Ministry of Order is prohibited. Rosa Renek. Install some cameras. Oh, whoops. Shit. Shit. What are you doing here? Sorry about that, I'm already leaving. Leave at once. That's bad. A 
famous cardio surgeon looking for a long-term rental, guaranteed to be a decent tenant. Talk to our neighbors, Carl. They're really nice. I was told the man in a top hat walks near the house occasionally. You can buy some things from him. What things? Antiques? Don't you have enough things? Listen to me first. You never listen to what I tell you. Don't get so steamed. I didn't want to offend you. You're the master of bringing people down. Sometimes I think I live with... What did you say about the trader? They say he's selling new household supplies. The old woman on the second floor showed me the perfume soap she brought home from last month. I didn't have anything like that now, but you can take a look at our other useful items. Do you need this the soap? We have an entire box of coal tar soup I bought with soup I bought with our ration cards. You're unbearable, unbearable, Carl. A rope around your neck would serve you well. Go meet him and buy sweets for Martha. The poor thing hasn't had a treat for months. Sweets aren't a big deal. I'll get you some. Take a deep breath. Now I gotta buy her or steal some sweets. Klaus likes taking photos. This will cheer him up. Some new intel.
tiny? That's weird. Okay, Alright. They're out of cameras. Do you need imported canned food? The price is 50 cans for $4,000. It's imported? Then why are the cans dented? I'll take it. It's always in demand. Come back tomorrow. I'll give you the money then. Person of worth. He helped me to acquire a nice bottle of Zeri's. He's an expert in wine, unlike my grandpa. Mark has been working in the ar archives his entire life. He likes his job. He deals with a lot of papers, but not many people. He spends his vacation in the company of his fishing rod. Oh, our dear boy has become a boss. I haven't seen him in a long time. So long ago. New government directive received. It is illegal to use foreign currency. doesn't look like he's uh he's an enemy of the state yet what Carl what happened Martha is sick Carl and we have no medicine at home can you find some aspirin for our girl I waited in line forever to only find out I needed a prescription 
course I'll find him. Do you have any news about Martha? No, it's just a fever. I don't like how she feels. I'm here to introduce myself. I'm Carl, the landlord. I'm honored. I'm Dr. Alozia Shebek, a physician. You must have heard about me. The entire city did. I've never heard of you. Really? Did you just get here? What are you famous for? I'm not wanting to pat myself on the back. I was just doing my duty. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, what problems could I possibly have? Nothing. You're very busy. Good day, Aloysius. Do you have any aspirin? Why does everyone like these pills? Can you obtain these medications? It breaks my heart to say this, but no. But I have no right to prescribe or receive medication. You have to go to the hospital and trade with those who don't need it. I have a request, a very private one. I'm all ears, Aloysius. Due to demands of my profession, I have no time for personal matters. Serving people 24-7 is my civic duty. I know it's hard to believe that looking at me, but I'm very shy around women. I'm confused and blushing, and every inch of me is extremely gifted self is sweating profusely. And what can I do? Get you some deodorant? Your wife is amazing, Carl. You clearly know about a lot about dealing with women. I'm lonely. Find me a woman, Carl. She'd be a good woman to have in the bedroom and the kitchen. Oh gosh, now I gotta play matchmaker too. This is getting intense. There's a lot of tasks going on. The Ministry of Truth has noticed a rising interest in philosophy books, including the works of Paul Williams. Well, I've already read that one. Young, pretty, socially active girl would like to meet for a well-to-do man for a serious relationship. Paul, blah, 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 blah. Paul, you'll be glad you did. Okay, so let's go use our phone then. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm Carl calling about your ad. Interesting, tell me about yourself. Oh no, that's for a friend of mine. He's a bit shy, so I'm helping him with a private matter. Are you re ready to meet a really great doctor? A doctor? What's his name? Aloysius Shebek. Is he the one the newspaper mentioned? I need to think. Call me back in a couple of hours. What are you doing in here? Sorry about that, I'm already leaving. Leave at once. Hello Carl, it's Clara. You called me a couple hours ago. I agree to meet your doctor. Give him my number and the secret word. Strawberries with cream. Did you write it down? I'll be waiting for his call. Now I gotta go collect the money. Some, some dirt on him so I don't even have to pay him back. Thank you. 
that's the fat looking guy with glasses. That is looking for a phone call. Why are the people coming in my part of the, the house? Okay, someone's in there sleeping. It didn't show him when I peeked through, dang it. Why didn't it show him? I peeked through the door. Chocolate candy. 
need to talk with you, Father. What happened? I met a nice girl and want to ask her out. The first night of the Lights of Hope will take place in a couple of days. Actors from the capital arrive too. Wait, who's that girl? Andrea Gorshik. She's beautiful and smart. She likes going to the theater. I heard she wants to go to an opening night. This is my chance, Father. I don't have enough money for the tickets. How much? $550. Holy crap. This is big money. The theater is a lovely place, son. Here's the money. Thanks, Father. You're the best. Take some change for flowers. Don't forget to wash up before your date. One shouldn't go to the theater with a dirty neck. Don't tell Mom, or she'll put it, pour an entire bottle of cologne on me. You know her. Martha feels worse, Carl. The aspirin didn't help. She needs a doctor. Find a doctor. Do you want me to take Martha to the doctor? We visited her doctor already. He said to give her aspirin and clean her nose with dish soap. With soap, Carl? How can I clean a kid's nose with soap? Find a good doctor for our daughter. I'll examine her. It's my duty. I'm a doctor. My daughter is sick. Can you examine her? Of course I'll examine her. It's my duty. Oh, okay. Theater scandal. The very first evening performance of the Capitol play on Love and Peace resulted in a scandal. Part of the audience left before the end. Plays should portray real people, not silly stories that have nothing to do with reality, said Bruno Ross, head of, of Plant Number no. One's recreation department. The theater's administration promised to shut down the play and ensure future plays don't upset the workers. sell jeans.
remember seeing a soda in his place, but it wasn't illegal when I searched. Oh, he's just going in there, dang it. So I, I might still have enough time to get rid of him. Got jeans. Okay, now I can call this in and keep my money. Here's a good little snitch. What's wrong with my daughter? I don't want to scare you, but Martha isn't well. She has a Biblicilla Rayleigh's in the lower half of both lungs. She needs antibiotics ASAP. As much as I love domestic medicine, she needs the imported stuff. Local medication will only make it worse, and it's already serious. Delays could result in a fatality. It's $20,000 per course. Sorry, but I couldn't find anything cheaper. Quotes, prescriptions, regulations, I'm risking a lot to help your baby. I just peeked and it didn't show her. It keeps doing that. That's BS. That is BS. Alright. I'm gonna stream some Witcher here in a bit. Be sure